Durham University prides itself, above all else, on an amazing student experience, leading research and quality education. We're a university with amazing sport, music, theatre and volunteering opportunities. And the university has a clear aim. By 2027, it wants to be top in the UK for all four, whilst also delivering a world-class research and education. But when it comes to student wellbeing, there's an alarming lack of focus and leadership. The university's strategy for the next 10 years doesn't mention student wellbeing once, and unless support and wellbeing is given the attention it needs and deserves, Durham won't succeed in building a world-class student experience or education. Much of the professional support that the university currently offers has evolved with the best of intentions, but needs to be reconsidered in light of the challenges we're experiencing today. A university ambitious about student experience and education needs also to be ambitious about student wellbeing. That's why I'm calling for the Pro Vice Chancellor for Colleges and Student Experience to work with me so we can show leadership on this issue. And the time for this is now. As the university embarks on its 10-year strategy, the SU on its 5-year strategy, and as student needs are increasingly complex, an exciting opportunity is born. The chance for us, the student body, to articulate a vision of how student support at Durham should be. So I repeat my call for leadership and offer for partnership on this important issue. One of the unique and amazing things about Durham is the support that students offer one another. Having directed our nightline, I know the power of peer support. We see it across the university, in our college welfare teams, our associations and our peer support groups. Our inclusive and supportive close-knit communities provide the perfect foundation to champion peer support, but we need to do more to build on these foundations. My vision is that every person who offers support is given sector-leading training and that every student trusts and has confidence in our peer support networks. So, how will we know when we've succeeded? When the university's support services are judged excellent not just by management, but by students, because they've been designed, adapted, delivered and evaluated with students. This needs to be an ongoing conversation across our university community, so I'm launching a series of conversations so we can craft a vision together. I can't do this alone, so I'd love for you to be a part of it. If you're interested, you can find out about the next conversation on our website shortly.